Let's talk a little bit uh, about the pills, if we can. Okay. Um, and you've already testified, as have other people, that you were still able to function as a lawyer over the years despite the pills that you were using. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And you were able, of course, during this period of time to engage in these relatively complicated thefts that increased over the years that we've just talked about, despite the pill usage. Is that correct? I was. Hmm? I was. All right. And you were also able to, during this time period, convince your staff that nothing was amiss with all of these exhibits, despite your pill usage. I mean, most of those didn't require convincing my staff, but just so we're on the same page again, I acknowledge that I certainly allowed them to be misled. I certainly allowed them to do things that I shouldn't have done on my behalf knowing that they trusted me. How many, uh, how many pills were you using a day? Depends on um, a number of items. Most, most importantly, how strong the pill was. Okay, well let's, let's talk about, let's say start maybe in January of 2021 and move forward. Can you describe to the jury what your daily pill intake was like? I think at that time, most of what I was purchasing was 30, uh, milligram pills, um, instant release, oxycodone. Um, they were probably mixed in with some oxycontin, which is made of oxycodone. It's just time release. Um, I would have been taking um, Anywhere from uh, fifteen hundred milligrams, maybe, to um, maybe maybe a, a, a thousand or, or maybe a thousand milligrams of, or, or twelve hundred milligrams on a day I didn't take as much or didn't have as much up to, I mean, their days, many days, a lot of days, most days were more than that. And many days would be, you know, 20, more than 2000 milligrams a day. And how many pills is that? It, it depends on the strength. Well, let's say it's the 30s the that you just mentioned. If I took 30, if, if, if I had 30 milligram pills, you, you figure 100 pills would be 3,000 milligrams. 100? 100. So you're taking 60 a day or something like that? I mean, there I, were days where I took more than that. There were days I took less than that. And how would you take them during the course of the day? I mean, how many are you taking at one time? How frequent in this time period, let's say January to June? You know, there's a point in time, and I'm not sure when it was, I think it was well before that, where, and you have to understand this, this is something that I didn't, I mean, I can still remember the first time I ever took an oxy. Mr. Murdoch, can I ask you to answer my question, and I'll let you explain all you want. And my question was, I'm, how many were you taking a day during this time from January to June? Answer that first, please, and if you want to explain, I'm happy to let you do so. I'm not positive, and here's why is because over the years, like the, as I was saying, the first OxyContin, one OxyContin made me literally made me sick. Um, and that was when I was transitioning from hydrocodone to oxycodone. And it, it made me sick because it was a really, really, really strong one. And so, you know, one OxyContin pill was like 10 hydrocodone pills. So, but anyway, as I took more and more, and over the years, it just 
you know, you build up a tolerance to pain pills. And so what might give me this energy, what, the, the reason, one of the reasons I became so addicted is, you know, some people talk about pain pills and how they make them lethargic and, you know, where they can't do anything and they feel, opiates gave me energy. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.